Hey guys, welcome back. On today's cold November morning, this is November 2nd. This is our last test of the year before our January test. And if you guys didn't know, January is when I do my full fire alarm system test. So this makes this video a little bit more special as it is the last fire alarm, generator, emergency light, everything test of November. And there have been a few additions to the emergency lighting, two of them that weren't here last month. So let's go over those once we get to that. For now, let's start this test with our fire alarm system test of November. Like I said, last one of this year. I do like to change things up slightly. So instead of starting in the garage, let's start this system test in this shed. Speaking of our full annual fire alarm test, there will be many things different this year and it will be a much different video, which I think is a great thing. For example, this shed was not here last year. That is a whole nother building added to the fire alarm system. Let's get out a pull station, or sorry, let's get out a screwdriver for the pull station to test that 270 SPO in that shed behind me there. What are you doing on my emergency light? We'll come back and test that in a little while. You can hear all of the alarms are in sync with each other. Get that stereo sound, get them from the left and from the right. I don't think that door latched all the way. Oh, well, you know what? We have to come back in there anyways, so that is okay. Fire door let go and latched as it should. Strobe in here is good. This strobe is good. Pull station slash heat tower and shed. As you can see, tower pull monitor is active, which the tower pull has now been expanded of the shed. So really that should be relabeled, but yeah. The module beside it though, isn't activated. And that module sort of, cause it's a dual 
and that is the strobe module. So let's activate that now. So we now have a supervisory, supervisory CO detector. So now both points of the module are activated. It was already activated though, so it doesn't look any different. CO strobe NAC circuit control module is on and you can hear the Wheelock sync module clicking away. Both strobes are flashing there. They're almost flashing in sync. They're very close, but they are both flashing there as well. I do like the LED strobes from a videoing standpoint as they show up on camera so much better because they actually flash like a decent amount of time. That's the problem with the Xenon strobes is they flash so fast that they are easy to miss on camera with the frame rate. I usually switch to 60 frames per second when recording fire alarms with strobes as it has basically doubled the chance over 30 frames per second of picking up a strobe. So that's a little tip. If you're trying to film fire alarms and you can, set your camera to 60 frames per second and it will record so much easier than in 30. Oh, what's that? Emergency light. Right, we should test those. Alarm silence again. Silences that CO neck circuit and we can go for system reset Probably hear the relay up in there click Which means our fire door will hold open again All right, system is back to normal. Let's test all of our emergency lighting. So we have this emergency light circuit that did the back area. We have this emergency light circuit that did everything up here. And we have this emergency light circuit there. As I said though, there have been some changes and expansions, so there's actually more, which I'll show you in a bit. Let's get this building done for now. Our exit sign emergency light combo unit up there is all good. And for you American viewers, yes, it's not an exit sign. These are the ISO signs or ISO or running man exit signs, which have been required for about 10 years now in Canada. I think was a good decision as not everybody in Canada speaks English and visitors from other countries may not speak English too. So they may not look as cool, but from a realistic standpoint, they are the better choice, I would say. This guy's good too. This Lumicell combo unit up there is doing well.
this ready light combo unit back here is doing well. You know what, I should turn off the light so you guys can actually see. Ah, oh, it looks better. That guy's doing well. That guy's doing well. We already looked at him, but he's doing well. This guy back here, he's doing well. In the bathroom. This guy up there is doing just fine, making sure you can still dump out the load in the dark. Let's check our storage room here. This guy up here is doing well, other than it, it gets knocked off about every time I climb up. My big ass hits this thing and knocks it off. This guy up here is doing well. Can we get out this way? Oh, we can now. Look at that. Okay, let's check some of the other buildings. Go we over here and check this one, this building for the last time. This guy is doing well. Our little guy is still hanging out up there. He's been there for a few weeks. He must be dead. He can live there. He's not hurting nothing. It's a cooler morning. It was colder earlier. It's actually warm enough now. That guy is, that guy's doing just fine. Let's make sure this door actually closes. I think the oil is a little thick in the closer. There you go. Closers don't like the cold so much. This guy in our generator shack. Actually, first, this guy out here is doing fine. Let's check on the generator. Yeah, he seems okay in here. Let's put these circuits back on. This is the one that does the generator building and that little shed out there. That guy's back on. This one does the back of this building over there. That's back on. And this does all the ones, most of them. That's back on. Okay. As I said though, that's not it. Because I expanded one into this building here, reminds me I gotta put the tripod in. Also reminds me I gotta reprogram these lights. That's, a, that's one of the downsides to the Bluetooth switches other than you, you can't control them from anywhere. My lighting control for this parking lot light, the outdoor lighting on this building, and the lighting control for the tower is all Wi-Fi switches. So after a power outage, once power is restored, they join right back up to the Wi-Fi network and they don't lose their timing or clock. This guy loses his timing after a power outage. So I'm gonna go onto my phone and just log in, cycle the lights on and off so it figures out the time. That's what I have to do at our schools too, is I got my phone connected to the schools that have it. So I just cycle them on and off and they relearn their time. Okay, I've gone ahead and done that. So this exit sign was an addition here. Not sure why it's changing color like that. That looks more realistic. I don't want to trace out the circuit and turn off a bunch of stuff, so I'm just gonna hit the test button. And it seems to be going okay. 
does provide a little bit of light. So I will call this one good. I don't even know if you want to call it an expansion as it's not very permanent, but after the power outage the other day, I did put an emergency light in the house. I shouldn't even be showing this. This is going to open up a huge can of worms by showing this because then it's going to turn into why don't you expand the fire alarm into the house? Why don't you expand the emergency light? Well, emergency light maybe one day, but fire alarms, let me just tell you guys, it'll cause problems and it's not worth doing it. I should probably just make a video of it someday explaining why. Oh, what's up, Ayla? Ayla, you're blurry. There you go. What's going on, doggy? All right, you guys aren't very talkative. I put this guy up here on top of this cabinet, which kind of lights up both directions pretty well. You can even see me at the end of the hallway down there. Why am I so blurry? So yeah, I put one in the house just to help. It doesn't do any other rooms really, just the main area and kind of lights up the stairs over there in the hallway, but that's all I need. They're not very aesthetically pleasing, so I was able to get away with putting this one here though. All right, let's go back out, but it's freezing. So I'm gonna go the downstairs way. Do you wanna go outside, Ayla? Do you wanna go outside? Come on, let's go, let's go. Show me the way. I might get lost. Yeah, I'm coming. Don't worry. Keep going. Basement's scary, I know. What you doing? Come on. Let's go outside. What are you being like this for? Usually outside's the most exciting thing ever for you. Let's go. There you go. All right, let's start up the generator. Yeah, you you went right to it. You knew what we were doing, didn't you? I don't. Need, I'm not even gonna open up the vents much because it's so cold. Fuel on. That's on. Choke on. Start. I guess I'll turn the fan on. It got ran for a few hours the other day when we had a scheduled power outage anyways, so it, it'll be fine. It does start a little slower in the colder temperatures. It definitely doesn't start quite as easy, but the electric starts real nice. It's a big, 450 cc motor in it I wouldn't want to be pulse starting that every time I'll wait for the exhaust to get nice and warm and then I'll shut it down not warm in there like the heating lamp is still on we probably really don't need the ventilation since the heating lamp is still on it's still under 15 degrees it's under 15 Ayla what do you think did we start generator you thinking
Yeah, it feels nice, doesn't it, Ayla? Come here. Nice spot exhaust. You should breathe it all in. It's good for you. I'm gonna warm up my hands. Like, honestly, it's freezing out here. Yeah, the thing really doesn't need much ventilation on a cold day like this. It's not going to heat up that much in there. It is insulated, but the exhaust doesn't even directly, like the exhaust is still vented outside, so really it's just the heat from the motor. I just shut the fuel off. I like to run it until you can hear it start losing fuel. That way I know there's not a lot of fuel sitting in the line. Green light is on on this. So we know we are putting out power. I don't have the transfer switch transferred over though, so everything is still powered off the power company. There, you see that, you hear that? That means it's running out of fuel. Okay, yeah, it's not even hot, it's just warm. Okay, last thing now is to just mark off the panels. All right, panels have been marked off okay guys that about does it for the december fire alarms and emergency light generator everything test so if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up hope you guys did and uh i'm looking forward to seeing you guys next month for the january fire alarm everything full full-blown verification like what we do in the schools in the summertime when we test every single device so uh yeah guys if you guys are interested too make sure to check out my instagram account at pickle 700 i've got lots of bonus things that you'd never see on the youtube channel things that are going on things posted early that sort of thing if you guys are interested check that out anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any comments or questions make sure to leave those down in the comment section down below thanks for watching hi